Hey, Tubes. Uh, more on that topic real quick. Um, so, in order to capture a picture of something, it needs to be lit. You know, seems obvious. Um, you know, you can't take a picture of something if there's no light. You know, photography, photo, photon, light is a uh, major part of all of it. That's why I always, I'm, uh, I'm always talking about light science because it's, um, it matters. <laughs> it matters in all the, uh, all the stuff we're told about space and the stars and how we, you know, the starlight, you know, you know, travels to us like a magic piece of spaghetti, you know, you know, everything else. But, um, so... Have you noticed how all these plan how, how, how all the pictures of the planets that we're getting the planets are extremely well lit they're they're just they're, they're just very well lit they're getting they're getting a really nice picture of Jupiter all that detail in Jupiter all the detail all the stuff moving around in Jupiter um, let me tell you something were space that bright like do you can I'm going to ask an impossible question right now. Can you wrap your head around how much light it would take to light an entire planet the size of Jupiter? And Jupiter is out further than us? And Jupiter is what? They say, uh, what, 16-something times larger than us? 32? Doesn't matter. Okay. How does... how if 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 our, if our sunlight's eclipsed by the moon... How is sunlight reaching Jupiter to light it up completely? See what I'm getting at? Like, it's not possible for a planet that far out from the sun to be entirely lit up like that, in that much detail. You need to understand the amount of detail that we're seeing when they show up these, these when they show these close-ups of Jupiter and stuff. It isn't possible. What what do you think? They have like super powered lights on the um on the um on the on the cameras on the uh, on on the satellites and whatnot? No, of course not. We'd put, we'd, we'd be seeing tractor beam lights go out every time they uh, they uh, they uh, took a picture of something. You need light to take pictures, and to take detailed pictures, you need a great deal of light, which is that's why the flash is bright and it's brief and it's kind of blinding because you need a intense bright light to get a good picture of something. Hmm. So how are they getting all these really like in-depth video pictures of planets like Jupiter when the gas that they're viewing itself is not reflective? None of it's reflective. And if it's and if we're getting that much that that much reflection back, every single particle in space would be glowing. We'd, we'd, we'd be seeing where's the asteroid field? Why can't we see the asteroid field in the in the night sky? If if everything else is glowing as bright as it is, why is there no asteroid field? Why why aren't we seeing any of these things? Everything would be visible. Anytime anything floated through space, we'd be seeing it. Because it'd be reflecting tons of light, apparently. You know? Like that's why they it's 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 why I just said they they don't teach light science in school. And uh, you know, people who are into uh, photography aren't aren't really thinking about the um, the science behind it as much as they're thinking about you know the photography. Actually, a, a good a a, a a good friend of mine, a, a professional f a photographer. I should have her uh, give me a little uh, uh, crash uh, crash course on talking points about how all of this is impossible. Uh, you, 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 you just, you, what you, the amount of light you would need, uh, think of a photo shoot, you know, when they, when they're, when they're, th when they're taking pictures of a human being on earth and all the light that they need, all the, all the lights in the, the, uh, the reflective things. And this guy walking around with a little thing and he's like, is that good? That's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, how they do, how, how are you supplying that much light in the vacuum of space with this, when you're like millions and millions and millions, millions of miles away from the sun? It's like, here's the sun. You know, we got we got boop boop boop. Here's Earth, then we, then it's what Mars, and then uh, then we got a massive gap. Then then we get to the gas giants. You know, once again, why why isn't the asteroid field blocking the? Why, why don't we see shadows of the asteroid field on those gas giants? If the if if, if the moon's casting shadows, actually, and everything would be casting shadows because we have an intense central light which is brighter than everything, bright enough that things. In a mind, 
blowingly far away away will still reflect light back at 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 at, at a at a at a, at a you know uh high lumen <laughs> that very very bright uh it just doesn't add up none of it adds up space would be so bright other than the fact that it you know the sun's a sphere of light it, it's 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 uh, putting light out in 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 all directions if the moon got in front of it it'd still be you know and it it doesn't it, it just goes black like you're like it's a spotlight that you're covering but anyway it's just none of it you know if if a little bit of if uh, if a little bit of clouds is going to obscure the sun, how the heck is is Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus super bright in the sky? If a little bit of cloud, if we're closer to the sun, and it is just very apparently very easy, it, very easy to obscure sunlight. How the heck are all these you know outer outer things being well lit? I got to know. Um, I know the answer. You know, space isn't real. All this is a lie, but. It just, you know, it never adds up when you, when you take, when you take the, the collective information and you add it together. It just never, ever, 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 ever adds up, ever. Never, ever. So, yeah, any, any, uh, any uh, photography people out there want to, want to, want to let me know how they're lighting up Jupiter so well to get those pictures of, you know, the, the, that, that detailed, you know, the uh, movements of the gas or whatever. Yeah, okay. You know, they, you know, you know, they could do that in a lab with you just mix a bunch of different like chemicals and then they like run together like that. You know, it's not that hard to get a. It's, a, it's actually infinitely easier to like were, were Jupiter real, like, you know, and I mean, you know, not just light in the sky, but a, uh, you know, a, a, a semi uh, terrestrial get or, or like whatever the hell it is. It'd be far, far easier to uh, to uh, recreate that in a lab than get an actual picture of it. Yeah, how is was this? How is all these gas giants super, super reflective? Gas isn't reflective. You know, it, the vapor can be, but it, but what 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 told it it isn't vapor. We're told it's just gas. It's you know helium and stuff. Helium, you can't even see helium. You can't even see mo like the, the 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 these plants are made out of noble gases that are invisible. Yet they're reflecting all this light. You know, it's it just doesn't add up at all, one bit. You know, uh, it it just it it just particularly drives me nuts because I know we're 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 having the uh, fake alien thing soon. We're having fake disclosure, and I you know I hate it when I see you know, truther channels or, or you know whoever's left of us like unironically covering it. You know, like, oh, here's here's what here's what NASA's saying. I guess we gotta, you know, look, look out for aliens. It's like, no, NASA's full of cr they, uh, like, Operation Paperclip took 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 Nazis Nazi scientists and brought them over and made NASA. Do you do you trust the government? Do you trust Nazis? Then why do you trust NASA? It's so dumb. You know, look look at the root of things and who's like funding things before you're just like so into stuff. You know who's funding my 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 independent thought? Nobody. It's just basics. I'm 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 applying basic science to these concepts and people are like, "Oh, you need to go back to school. You need to learn basic physics." You know? It's basic 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 meat potato science. It's just you know, it's just like so many other things, you could it, you could you can get all crazy with stylistic nonsense. You know, you could you could you know like like in fighting, you you can spend your time mastering these you know in you know insane floppy flinning you know spinning, kicky stuff. But you know, chances are you're gonna get 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 knocked out by a dude with solid fundamentals. Solid solid fundamentals wins fights. Oh, uh, what's his face that uh. Get his name right now. Max Max Holloway. Perfect example. Fundamentals all day used intelligently, you know. But anyway, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, it's just it's it, it's 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 dumb. It's it just makes me crazy to think like, wait a minute, 
how how the heck are we seeing these these planets in the sky with with our naked eye from from that far away? It just doesn't make sense. You know, like the sun would be blindingly bright. The the amount of light it would have to generate to make something that far away shiny, the 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 light from the sun would be unbearable if you were this close to it. And you wouldn't be be able to see anything other than the light of the sun also. Basic it's basic light science. But anyway. Uh, uh, aliens are demons. That's 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 old news. That's why they tell the same story over and over again. That's why they, you know, like, oh, we're from the dog star. We're from this. We're from there. Blah, blah, blah. It's the same story over and over again. In every mythology. It's not a coincidence. You know, that we've, there's been the same, same entities running the show down here since the beginning. Since they came down and chose to rule us and, and we let them. So those are your aliens. It's the fallen ones and their in their offspring. So they that's why that's why they need the space lie. That's why there's pushback right now. And that's why you as you as a Christian, especially as a Christian, need need to get your scripture out and read the part in Genesis where it says the star, the moon, and the sun, and everything in the sky is to mark the passage of time. All right. Why would ninety nine point nine 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 percent of of all creation be so us here on Earth can tell what day it is? Does that make sense? Is God that wasteful? Like think like it's like the worst. Like think about everything that goes into like a like a like a watch. You know, like those old those old you know the, like uh, you know used to be watchsmiths and stuff. Back in the 18, uh, 1800s, 1700s and stuff, they, you know, brilliantly would, you know, put together these, you know, think about, like, how difficultly complex something like that would have to be just so we can tell what day it is. You know, is God capable of it? Yeah. Would he, would he flex like that? No. He doesn't need to flex. He's God. See, there's no one like him. Who's he flexing to? He has no contemporaries. There's no point in God being so wasteful as to as to make all this stuff so we can tell what day it is. So, any Christian, you need to stop believing in space. Get read read your scripture. Read about the firmament. Read about how it's God's footstool. You're a Christian. You should know these things. It, it it's a it's it's flat and stationary. It's take a take an airplane, take a walk down to the beach. I don't know. Look, uh, uh, get some get some nice uh, high altitude photography once again. Photographers of the world unite. You need to uh, you need to help us. These uh, normal folk are too stupid to know how light works. But anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, love you guys so much. I really, 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 really do. Um, like I said before, there's just, it's just like everything going on in the world is so obvious. It's like, oh, you got to get the you know what, you know, to get certain jobs now. Gee, I wonder if they're going to expand on that. You know, Uncle Biden's just you know printing you know printing money away. You know, I'm sure that will that will be good for the economy where we're not making anything. You know, so it's 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 just super obvious where everything's going. I've been I've been talking about it for two years, and here it is. Um, like I've been talking about this specific stuff that's happening right now for two years. But anyway, uh, I don't know. Try to try try to at least talk at you some more. I guess there's not a lot of options right now, right? Everyone's gotten shutting down. You know. You, you could go into bit shoot and all those things or whatever. I, I don't I don't really like how those work. The interface is kind of awkward. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. But anyway, I love you guys. I really, really do. Um, I don't know. Stay vigilant. Have eyes that see and ears that hear. Be aware. Remember. That's about it. 
<sighs> yeah, God bless all y'all. Stay clear. Don't get that, you know what. Don't get the jab in arms. I still think that's creepy how they kept saying in arms, get it in arms, in arms, in arms, in arms. By the way, uh, you know what? I can't even talk about it. I can't even reference it. I'm just going to have because it's going to undo the whole 15 minute video I just did. It was not even about it. I've had that happen uh, before. I made a, I made a half hour long uh, video about the importance of uh, women and uh, the, how they're, they're cornerstones of society and how a, a strong woman leads to a strong society and uh, the other leads to, to the other. And I referenced one thing that, you know, one of those things you, you're not supposed to talk about just like, you know, glancingly, I just, you know, you know, quick, quick little offhand, uh, you know, rambling, <coughs> rambling Jonathan type deal. And um, the whole video was taken down over it. So, yeah, I, uh, I got to be careful because I don't I don't like remaking videos. I don't I don't script any of this. And it's like, what was I talking about? I don't care. None of this matters anyway. No one cares. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day and God bless you.